Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we're alive, we're vibing, we're back. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Gravity Potato YouTube channel. And welcome back to The Sims. It's been a while, uh, both for a stream and for uh, The Sims. So you will just have to bear with me. I uh, do need to get my bearings again. Uh, it also, if you do hear cars going outside, uh, I do apologize. I'm in the new room, the new uh, gaming room slash office slash whatever the fuck uh, YouTubers tend to call them these days. But um, yeah, a room wholly dedicated uh, to me and uh, Brittany's computers and gaming consoles. Um, yeah, it's cool. Uh, I can, you know do whatever without worrying about my parents sleeping in the other room so that's interesting uh, now I just got to worry about Brittany uh, sleeping in the other room so uh, a, lot, a lot less people to worry about uh, but we're gonna be doing something pretty chill today uh, because your boy to be honest with you is still trying to get a hang of this whole move and shit uh, I am all over the place uh, the I think adjusting to everything has been uh, quite difficult so your boy's quite tired um, it doesn't help that uh, that work is also kicking him in the ass a little bit so we're gonna be doing something a little bit uh, a little bit softer on the eyes as it were um, and hope that it goes well so if you guys uh, tuned in for the last one you would know that we did uh, a little loft uh, a kind of apartment thing uh, and that's what we'd spent the stream doing it's still unfinished uh, but I looked back on it and I wasn't really happy with uh, with how it turned out I wasn't too keen on it if I'm perfectly honest um, it went okay don't get me wrong but looking back on it it wasn't my best work uh, it's definitely something that I'll probably go back to uh, at some point in the future but right now I want to get something fresh. I want to build a house, you know. I want to build something nice and simple, something nice and small. So I figured here would be the best place to do it here in the sporting space. Um, it is an empty residential lot, which is quite nice. Uh, so it's perfect for us next to a park, and it's kind of kind of environmental almost. Uh, it's meant for dogs uh, or you know animals and stuff. Uh, so this should provide some unique kind of opportunities. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this lot. Um, all I know is I'm gonna do something and it's gonna be wacky. Uh, how do I play this game again? Right. <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll have to bear with me. It is going to take some time. Um, yeah, so we got a park over there. This is more of a communal area, but this is labeled as a residential plot, which is interesting. Because if you look over there, like, I know that's supposed to be a house, but you look at that and you tell me that's not like a, uh, a shop. That looks like a front shop window, almost. It's got, like, all the glass. So much glass. Alright. Uh, bulldoze this lot immediately. Nothing that is here should remain here. Be gone. Um, get the brushes out. Get rid of all of that. Don't need it. Alright, good enough. Now, what are we going to do? I want, obviously, like I said before, something small and simple. I feel like I want to I want to build something different. I don't want to just build generic house number 6,752. Um, Alright, well, we got dogs, right? We got animals. They need a big yard. Big yard means small house. Small house means tiny living, uh, which I do have the pack of. Um, there we are. That's so much better. Hmm. Alright, well, I think I kind of want to maybe start with fencing. We got, like, hikers that'll help a fence. Um, what's that looking? Mm, interesting. Because normally you'd start with a floor plan. But I kind of want this to be more yard than anything. So maybe we can take, like, uh... Hmm. Alright, well, let's take the surrounding area into account. Again, very communal, very, you know... Hustle and bustle, lots of parks and stuff. So maybe a shop at the front, 
house at the back with like a big park. I've never done like a shop house combo kind of thing, so that might be fun actually. Uh, let's do that. That sounds quite interesting. Shop house combo. Would it be like a... I feel like we have the space to do two separate buildings, or at least two separate spaces. So maybe, you know, the front is the shop area, and you walk through into the house. Or maybe the house is a separate loft, in, like a separate building entirely. Hmm. Alright. I guess we'll just kind of see where we go, really. I probably want it as far forward as humanly possible. Or maybe not as far forward as humanly Mm, we'll start maybe like here, right? Yeah, because if we're doing the double ups, then we then we want it to be as far back as possible, I reckon. Um, whoops, there we go. Sorry for anybody who just got blinded by that white screen. Um, hmm. I don't even know what you what we would be selling in said shop. All right, we'll, we'll just start with a big cube. Because my theory is, right, shop, cube, house, cube, and then, like, yard. We'll have, like, a... I mean, you can't really put a driveway, can you? Because this is clearly a pedestrian walkway, and there's, like, nowhere for a car to come through. Um, so I guess having a driveway is a bit obsolete. So maybe we can afford to extend the shop out like that. Um... I'll just bring that in here. There we go. I feel like that's too big, but we'll, we'll work on it. Um, and then back here will be the house. Now, do we want to walk through it? I feel like it should be a separate thing uh, entirely. But it doesn't necessarily have to be. I don't know. I'm thinking like maybe a, a shop, like a grocery shop or something. Like organic foods. I feel like you'd have an organic foods place around here. I mean, look at this place. Doesn't it just scream health? So yeah, some kind of organic food shop. And maybe have like a garden. Like dedicate a large chunk of this space to a garden. And, uh, and have some kind of small home. Um, what kind of small home? Got no clue. I wouldn't exactly call it a small home. <laughs> um, maybe we can incorporate some angles. Everybody likes a bit of angles. Hmm. Oh, no. Oops, didn't mean to go that far. We could always tack it onto the back, really, or like up above. I don't know, I've never done something like this before. Alright, hang on. Just s send it, hang on. Send it all the, send it all the dots. Not happy with it. Hmm. Alright, well, what about you? You can't see that looks more like they got shop here and then like house kind of thing. So we'll kind of match their, their like modern aesthetic. Uh, how? Got no clue. We'll start off with like, I like these kinds of like fancy schmancy windows. So we'll just kind of build up upon that. So what you do is you do that, you go back down by two. There you go, and that's kind of like your front door. You can have like your front door here. Uh, if we raise... Um, I'm up too high. Um, and that was really weird. Why is it doing that? I think that's what the fuck. Okay, whatever. Alright, it's probably gonna be enclosed first. Cause what I'm thinking is we have maybe like a like a small staircase leading up to it almost. Um I'll do 
just gonna put that there. like that. Oh, not that high. <laughs> Don't want that. Nah, not high walls. High walls suck. Um, yeah, and we'll have like a... Uh, Alright, I'll figure it out. Should be right. Um, again? No, maybe not that. Um. Oh wait, what if that's the house on one side and like shop on the other? Because this looks more like a homely kind of entrance. And then maybe we can use like a fence to separate it almost. So if we have that going, it can like operate out of like a garage or something. That would be kind of fun. Alright. Ideas. The brains are churning, ladies and gentlemen. The wheels do be churning in, in the old in the old head. Um. Oh, I <laughs> not mean to do that. Maybe like there, and then if we use just some like nice modern fencing to kind of separate the two, almost. Uh, maybe not that color. Yeah, we don't want any, like, we want to stay modern, you know? I want to compete with these, these pricks, you know? Look at these fuckers over here. We're gonna, we're gonna make a better place than them, because they're losers. Um. I don't really know where I'm gonna go from here, but I know I'm gonna go from here. Okay, well if this is the garage that they're gonna be operating out of, you know it's it's a it's a decent chunker of a garage. I'd say that's pretty good. Um, we'll get rid of this. One. Squirrel the house away this way. I don't want to make just a rectangle. I would like some shape to it. Maybe I can stick it out by like a one ish. It's always good to have shape. I hate just cubes. Just having cubes sucks. But I don't want to like cut into the house because. Again, space is kind of a premium, um, and I want a big yard to kind of promote this like vegetable growth kind of thing. Um, I could kind of I go like up by two, and I could cut in like this, and that can be the first kind of level. Yeah. on the same kind of level here. Um, yeah, I don't mind having like a like a raised kind of house or maybe here's the trickio. If I seal off the front entrance for my little platform trick again. There we go, and like step down into the house almost, just to create some nice, nice leveling. I can put like some cool kind of higher plants this way. That might be nice. Um, yeah. All right, something cool can definitely come of this. As for up here, because I, th I think I'm pretty happy with this basic living dining. And then, like, we can have bathroom, toilet, living, kind of sleeping areas upstairs. Kind of away from prying eyes, almost. Because, uh, the last thing you'd want are customers rummaging around near your bathroom. 
Sounds a bit freaky. Um, we can cut into here, create a little balcony. I feel like it would be, it's almost stupid not to use the roof of the garage as like balcony space. But we got to think of the aesthetics here. We're not, you know, I, I don't want a whole ass bedroom and stuff sitting on a, sitting on a garage. Um, but we can use this, I reckon. We like maybe do that. I don't know. I want to incorporate angles. I do love me some angles. But I don't know if those angles are it, Chief. Oh, I don't know. I do not know if those angles are it. I could maybe cut in a little bit earlier. No, that just looks horrible. Because I like having, I like, you know what, that's not, hmm. I could go box, I could go box down here and angle up there. If I go box here, and I go angle up here, maybe when I enclose it, it might not be too bad. Because I hate, I, I don't want boxy, you know? Maybe I can like shave corners off. If I can just shave off like the rear corners there, kind of round the house out a little bit at the back, I feel like that's a, that's quite nice. Um, maybe I can also, because this is kind of going to be the front kind of walkway area, I feel like this, this can be some kind of like rear living space, right? Like TV hanging up on the wall, like big glass sliding doors to get out into the back. That kind of deal. Um, oh, oh, what is that? That kind of leads us that way. If I stick with this almost like rounded theme, right? If I get rid of that. If I run the walls identical to each other, like that. I split that into there, raise that up, okay, actually you know what, keeping the wall there wasn't so bad, maybe I can make something of that, kind of helps to separate the spaces, you know? But I don't want to turn it into too much of a hallway. Kind of distinct spaces. Maybe I can get away with doing like a half wall to these two. Not you. Where are my half walls? I forgot where the half walls are. Um, medium half wall. Is that too high? Because you'd want to be like, I feel like that's too high, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. What's one lower? Yeah, I think that's good. That is not what I wanted to do. If I cut it to about there, what about getting rid of this one? Having the other one there is probably the best idea. A nice kind of separation of space without feeling too enclosed. And I can like turn this into some swanky little kitchen area. Uh, there does need to be a place for the staircase to go. That is a thing that I need to remember. Hmm. Maybe I can do it here, along this wall, because I don't want to put it along here. Yeah, maybe as they're coming down, they can, like, have a look over, like, this area into the rest of the house. That might be pretty nifty. Let's try that. Uh, what staircase would I want? I 
could, I guess I could just go simple standard. Would that be fine? I'd say that's pretty much perfect, but is that where I would want it to be fair? It's interesting, but I don't know if I would have like the half balls here. It kind of defeats the purpose of them. Could move them like over here, maybe. I feel like I would need to add. Uh, I need to turn this into a full wall. Turning it into a full wall suck. No, you know what? That's fine. I think that's okay, to be fair. I do need railings, though. Um, which does pose an interesting question of which ones do I use? Uh, I haven't been very good at selecting staircase stuff. That'll do. The, the bloody railing. Oh, that's what I hate about railing. You can't just have it on one side. No, it needs to be on both sides. New, 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 new. Look at that. Look at this piece of shit. Why would I ever want that? Because you can't just... You can't get rid of one side. It kind of forces you to put a wall around it. Again, it kind of defeats the purpose of having the stairs. Alright. Or having like the little view area. It's fine. I can make this work. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's bad. I just think it's meh. In terms of staircase placement, I don't think we're going to get any better than that. Unless we were to put it here, but then that'll kind of interrupt the living area. Um, and in terms of space up here, like, that's not really... It's kind of smack dam in the middle of the hallway there, or like the, the living area. Um, unless I just straight up kind of like... Cut it in half. Like that, and it can just be a, a two bedroom sort of affair. I don't think that's. I don't think. Oh, you know what? That's not bad, actually. And you can have the balcony kind of looking out there. Um. Hmm, now fences here are gonna be interesting. Could you could just do the mega fence here? Because that has a color scheme that fits. You know, nothing, nothing fancy, just some standard stuff, you know? Just some nice standard, you know, railing, and we can maybe make it a bit fancier in the future, but as it stands right now, it's pretty good. Right, now we do have the split level out here, right, which is a perfect opportunity for some decking. to match the rest of it and I can maybe make like a wrap around oh that's fine I expected that to happen ah why is that still bright ah because the roof has decided it does not want a roof That is interesting. Why have you decided that you would not like to roof today, good sir? Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, just something basic like that, really. That's all you need. Um, yeah, and we can have some like stairs descending down. 
Uh, and that should be like, you know, a little bit of relaxation area for the, uh, for the family that run the shop. Yeah, should we, right? This is way too calm for a potato stream. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just not in a, uh, in a, in a kind of yeeted mood today. I'm sure as I settle into the house, it'll be more energetic, but as I explained at the start of the stream, I just don't really have the energy, but it's been too long since I've, you know, done a stream, and it needs to start back up again. i got to get back into the swing of things. I feel like once I get back into the swing of things, it'll be, you know, it'll gradually get louder and, and get back to what it was. But yeah, as it stands right now, man, I'm just, just kind of vibing, to be fair. And I don't really mind it. I like the, the calm sometimes. Um, we will keep using these fences as our guard railing. It's almost a bit too simple, isn't it? Hmm. But I feel like I'm going for like a more... It's almost like a more classic vibe to be fair. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have used this one. Should be using the same kind of fences consistently around the place. Yeah, that's kind of instantly making it a bit more modern looking. Without overdoing it, to be fair. Last thing I really want to do is overdo this kind of shit. Uh, and I'll put it up here as well. Beautiful. It's coming along, to be fair. Um, uh, where is it again? Yeah. There we go. Just had to turn on the, the build sheets for a hot minute. Um, right, we kind of need these, these big garage doors, but I can't remember. Yes. Um. That's a bit of an issue. <laughs> hmm. So I would. It kind of needs to be rolled up in a way. I kind of need this, like. Because this is pretty much going to be open. It's going to be like this. So I need to make like an overhang that looks like a garage door. How the fuck am I supposed to do... You know what? I'll figure it out. <laughs> I will get there. Uh, probably. Maybe. Uh, but you know what? In terms of like a standard pedestrian house, it's looking alright. You know, nothing too wacky, nothing too out of the ordinary uh we'll see how long that lasts before i start getting some really weird ideas sturdy stairs mm. okay, i do like these stairs these stairs are some of my favorite they go with anything it's great uh, nah i ain't no basic bitch they're going on the side motherfucker Nah, you still can't change the bloody colour of them. You gotta, like, delete them so you can change their colour. Pain in the ass that. There we go. Let me get some, like, paving stones or something to kind of just bring it up. Terrain. In terms of terrain, what can I do? Probably like a gravel terrain. I return on my guidelines again. Oh, because I'm on the wrong. Yep, there we go, much better. Get 
gravel up nice and straight. There we go. Increase its size a tad bit. Cool. Um, I kind of want a uh, more of a wavy path than that. Or just like at least something a little more interesting, you know? Something a little bit out there, a little bit unorthodox, you know? We can line that with some plants and stuff. Ah, uh, was that really lot? Yes, you. Uh, can we get it in? Yeah, we can get it in the bright. Yeah. Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Perfect. Almost. It's alright. We'll cover it in plants and she'll be right. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I was looking for. going to do here as well is fence off the entrance to the property. What? Um, parry refence post. Okay. Is there a parry refence gate? Normally there is the barn door. Perfect. Um, you know, in the right colour, <laughs> almost doesn't look too bad. Almost. Um, hmm. Chicken proof gate. That's cool. Um, I don't want to go for something too big. Could just go for like a little little mega gate. I would like a double gate, but all the double gates are, are too big. It's a bit of a pain. The limestone gate. The limestone gate makes anything look a million times more primitive. Um, Modern Wonder? Kinda works, but there's nothing that's in the, uh, in the same shade by the looks of things, which is a bit of a pain, if I'm honest. Cause I don't want to really want completely white. Could have, like, Shrek's Gate. I'm gonna a little bit of Shrek. Yeah, we just don't seem to have the uh, the right kind of gate that I'm. Oh Jesus, nope. I could go for a two further. Just a big and opulent. Just go straight for it. this gate was probably our best bet it's not perfect it's also kind of partly on me for choosing that color but I don't really think mm. I could go for like the bright those palings there. Yeah, but now that gate doesn't match. <laughs> I 
See, now it's almost like a bright kind of timber. I don't think that even that, yeah, no, that just kind of makes it worse. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard, it really is. that. It's a nice fence. Doesn't fit, but it's a nice fence. Yeah, no, that's way too bright. Too antique. It's more of like a simple picket fence. If they had one that matched the the door, I would be fine, but they don't because they suck. It's fine. With some touch-ups and some, uh, some grass and plants and stuff, I, I think it'll look much better. Um. Alright. The front door. I would like it to be decently modern looking. There's one that's always my go-to. It's a single door with like a big wooden panel on the on the side of it. This one. It's nice, but it's too tall. Which is really weird. Why is it so tall? Can I uh, can I shrink it down with a little bit of no, the wrong one? A little bit of Nope, that's not going to work. Okay. Interesting. I always thought that door was smaller than that. Apparently not. Maybe I could go for this? Uh, I should probably keep the theme bright. Now see, this puts me in a tricky position. I don't want to put it all the way over to the edge. I could put it here in the middle and yeah, actually that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. Uh hang on, I'm also gonna do over those uh fences. Before I completely forget and mess up the whole palette. There we go, much brighter. Still doesn't quite fit. Windows, 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 windows. As much as I would like floor to ceiling stuff, I don't really feel like it's called for, at least with the front. Oh, maybe I could do the, uh, maybe this one for the front at least. Ah, but see, that's the problem because it's on, uh, it's on, st ah, it's because this is up here. If it wasn't on a platform, that other door that I liked would have been good enough. Uh, but that's fine. We make this work. That's what we do here on the Gravity Potato YouTube channel. We make shit work. Because if it doesn't, I'm kind of out of ideas. Um, I could go for this window. It's pretty nice, but it's kind of... It's just weird that it's kind of cut off halfway. Kind of quirky. Oh, and it's in the right kind of wood. You know what? I like it. If need be, I can find something to cover up the bottom of the window with. To maybe make it look a bit less uh, interesting. I feel like is the, the right word to use there. Let me just cover that. With the gravel. There we go. Just to make sure we don't really see any grass underneath the stairs. Right, well that's the front window sorted, but these windows are a different story entirely. 
I mean, these are most certainly interesting. I could do that, but then they kind of like glitch into each other and it's a bit weird. And I don't really feel like they have the wood look I'm going for. Oh, maybe that one. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Um, no. Nope. Could do these ones. I don't know. I've already kind of got the lattice effect. Not the lattice. What are they called? I don't really know what they're called when like a window is split up. That's the one we're working with. Could maybe use it. I was about to say, could use a smaller one. That's definitely not a smaller one. Uh, interesting. Could do that. If it's in the right color, it is perfection. Maybe not perfection. Maybe like one in the middle. Oh, I feel like it's really not using up a lot of uh, a lot of the space it should be. But again, we're adding plants there. I feel like once the plants are added, the walls are painted. That's actually going to look pretty good. Like that, you know? Uh, maybe not do it up there? Or have something to, to cover your bases from people that can like look in. Because that's going to be someone's... Uh, that's either going to be someone's bedroom or the bathroom. Oh, shit. I haven't really thought this one through. <laughs> I guess... Alright, well I have... Hmm. You know, I might have enough space to give both rooms their own um, ensuite bathrooms. I feel like I can pull that off, despite how small the space is. I feel like I can give them both their own ensuites. That's probably the only way I'm going to get around it, to be fair. Hmm. That's fine. Alright, well now we kind of know what we're going for here. These smaller windows can kind of be... ...sunken in around like the veranda. Hmm. I'm in, hang on. I need like a door here before I can uh, start thinking about placement of that kind of stuff. We got these like big kahuna sliding doors, but again, because of the platform, there are. Uh... Oh, that would be. Hmm. Why are you so high? Why are you doing that? Oh, because the platform is still up here. Alright, what if I brought the level in here down? Because I want that. I want that bad. That's what I've got to do to get it, and by god I'm going to get it. Is that the same kind of... wood? No, it's more, more beige. That? Yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Can 
Now, I don't want to use too many windows here because this is going to be the lounge room. use like three there maybe and have that wall just kind of blank or I can have all of those and just that wall blank and that's where the TV and stuff can go yeah I'm happy with not having a veranda if it means that we're able to do if we're able to have that door hey poor how you doing mate welcome to the stream Thanks for the thumbs up, my guy. I hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, in terms of stuff that I want, I want this door. <laughs> and by George, I'm going to get this door. I'm going to miss that veranda, though. Yeah, but we got to remember, like, they, they're going for this whole, like, eco stuff, so... As long as I have some paving stones out here to kind of separate almost kind of a veranda area, I feel like I can use paving stones to achieve the same effect. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Um, now, in terms of other doors for the higher balconies, I'd like a door to go here onto the corner. I can use these ones. I've always been a fan of these kinds of doors. Don't know if they would fit the uh, the vibe of the house though. Because um, again, I've got very kind of like... I've got very broken up glass panels. So if I do that... Do you have the kind of beige I'm looking for? You don't. Hmm. What to do? What about you? I know it's a, it's a smaller door, but is that the same? It is! I'll be damned! Alright. Look, it's a smaller door, but I feel like that'll work out better to be fair. Gives us some room to play around with the corners, maybe a couple of like taller plants. Um, don't know. It gives us some space to actually put something here. I don't know what it could be. Uh, again, maybe more plants. Uh, when in doubt, put a plant. Uh, but I think that's pretty good. Now in terms of other windows, where have I got them? I've got them pretty much as low as I can go without clipping into the ground. So that'd be about here. Oh, I've got that. That one goes like right down to the ground there. Yeah, but if I go in. Mm, interesting. Is that. Yeah, that's right at the ground. But if you look there, there's a bit of a gap. So I feel like I gotta be at least a bit. Gotta fit in with the continuity there a bit. I just have like two windows there. That looks great on the outside, to be fair. On the inside, yeah, it's not bad. It is not bad at all. Um, I will also rip that door and put it here. Mainly for space reasons. If I have it in the middle there, it breaks up this wall and I can't really do much with it. Because I can still put a bed on this side and have someone just, you know, get the short end of the stick. Because um, this is where people are going to be entering from. So the bed could also go here to be fair. Maybe set up a desk over there. Uh, oh, I also need to consider the fact that both of these rooms do need their own ensuite bathrooms. Um, so maybe I can put the ensuite over in this corner, have the bed up against here. Uh, and then I can dedicate this corner to something else. So that room I think is more doable than this room. This room is going to have like a very kind of narrow entrance. I'll have to corner off a... Maybe a 2x2? Two two. I feel like I can do it in a 2x2 two two, uh, without making it look too cramped. Um, and then I can have like a small single bed in there. But we shall see. Because your boy is getting far too ahead of himself. Um, I will continue to use these windows. Let some extra light in through here. 
I will actually need to change those, I've just realized, because that is going to be where the kitchen is. Um, and because this is raised, I will need to put different kinds of windows here as well. Which is where these ones come in. These ones are so good, they're coming in clutch. Yeah, see, that's right at the floor, that. So these, these ones have to be like up here. If I move you over by half. That's nice. Lots of natural light. Um, and then I'll have a, uh, a door to the garage. I won't have anything fancy for the door into the garage. Uh, I just gotta make sure it fits the aesthetic. Not the door of dinge. There we go, just a simple key lock door I feel like will do us wonders. Off in the back, um, yeah, if I put it all the way up in the back, it'll help me kind of limit the size of the kitchen and not go overboard and just have kitchen benches running along the wall, because I have a bad habit of making the kitchen way too big, and it usually comes back to bite me in the ass, uh, so having a smaller kind of kitchen by putting that door there, it'll kind of limit me mentally, and then I can do something else with this space. Uh, but we shall see. Maybe a dining area. A proper dining area. Um. Now, stairs. Would just simple slats like that be fine? Or should I go for something a little more modern? Probably a little more modern. There we go, that's more like it, I reckon. If I move that out of the way, is the other one still there? No. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, I like those stairs way better. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Everything is coming up Millhouse. Um, I need to sort out the toppers for these, however. Maybe just some white. Oh no, let's let's stick to the light wood theme we got going on right now. I'm liking this light wood theme. Um, whoops. <clears throat> This light wood theme is really, uh, really hitting the spot, if I do say so myself. Um, Alright, I believe that's windows done. I will just put a temper... That's not what I wanted. I'll just put a temporary fence up. This won't be the be-all, end-all. Hmm. Let's not do that. Um, I think I like doing in these alleyways. Oh, I just had a great idea for this alleyway. All right, hang on. Before I lose the idea, actually no. Let's let's keep that there. Um. need like a half wall. That is far too high of a half wall. Alright, like that, right? <clears throat> Isn't there like a, there's an outdoor thing. I can't remember exactly what it was. It was like an outdoor decoration. Isn't that like a like a bend like a bendy kind of <sighs> shit? It's really hard to explain. That's not really what I was going for. No, that's definitely not what I'm 
really even want to go for, to be fair. Um, no, hang on. Uh, shit. That's not it. Ah. Oh, pillars. Pillars, pillars. Um, if I get some like these owl... No, not the alpine pillars. Yeah, these like thin ones, right? Because I've screwed up already and I haven't coloured them. Oh, there should be something like in contrast, I think. Yeah. Um. Oh no, not the selection methods. I need kind of a, uh... Uh, even though it's black, it kind of fits, but it's not quite what I want to go for. Yeah, see, they're all a bit too bright. I feel like this will do. Is there, like, a, like a thinner one? One that doesn't... Yeah, see, the... The problem is that they kind of get in the way. I wish you could remove them entirely and just have like a flat little like thin strip. Uh, but that unfortunately is not how it's going to go. Right, now I gotta remember how to do this trick. Um, hang on, if I just take two of you, get rid of you. Um, Now, if we do a little, little gate. No, no, not you. Not even you, something you. Yes, 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 yes. If I use you. Right. Just like that. Okay. Um... Pillars to add a bit of depth, add a bit of detail. It should probably be beige to fit with everything else, but that's like the only beige they have, and it's a bit too bright, I think. It's like one shade too bright, uh, which does annoy me slightly. So the only other option is to kind of go... Oh, you know what? That's not too bad, that one. Which one was that? Is it that one? Come on. Yeah. Okay, if I just do that one. I have another gate doesn't fit. <laughs> Do need a gate like that. Maybe this one? Oh, this gate doesn't really fit either. Alright, one that kind of just fits in on its own. Easily jumpable, but we're not really worried about security here. Let's just switch all of these poles around. There we go. Something a little bit brighter. Right, now what we do is we get we go into fences and we get this one. Paint it the same colour and right on top. I love this trick. This is one of my favourite things to do. Alright, now while that's like that. 
lattice work. Uh, we do have to keep that one like that. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. Actually, before we do that, reinstate those. Uh, now we go to the plants. We got a shrubbery and stuff. We can actually put stuff on top of here, right? Uh, there are proper like ones, which I would very much like to use instead, but I cannot remember where they are. They're not like anywhere here. Like I can use the algae as a base, maybe, but at that point I'm better off just using regular grass. Where are the little flat ones? I know they're around here. Uh, oh god, that's... Might actually work, to be fair. Hang on. kind of strategically place them to make them look like they're uh, they're different that way it just kind of looks like one amalgamation instead of the same repeating pattern one they don't really want to seem to rotate. You gotta be careful that none of them just start clipping through the walls. Whoops, I accidentally pressed the windows key. Good job me, thanks me. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit visible. Especially like further up the back. Because you kind of want people to know that like there's actual like stuff there holding up the shrubs. Don't want to just make them look like they're floating or something. Make a nice little canopy like that. Now we don't even have to delete what's underneath and it kind of gives the illusion of shade. I mean, I don't even know how it would go about deleting them like one by one underneath all of this, after, underneath all the shrubbery. Um, but now we can use like other plants up there uh, as well. Just to kind of give it some, uh, some depth. to make sure they're not too big. Just stuff to kind of change it up a little. I 
I think my controls have been messed up a little bit. I can't seem to be able to rotate anything. Which is a bit weird. Um, yeah. So you just stuff to like bring a bit of change and depth. That way you make a nice little, nice little overhang and immediately this place looks a million times better. Very nice. Uh, let's change up that front work as well. And something a little bit better. And we can try and do the same thing over here. We need to do something to give the illusion of like a, uh, a garage overhang. There we go, get like a teeny little half wall to add some depth to. I always add, like adding tiny, uh, tiny half holes. Just flushes out the roof a little bit. <laughs> I keep thinking I've added something. There we go. The place already feels just that little bit better. by stopping a bit short. Just cheat. Hmm. Who needs to do it right anyway? <laughs> Alright, perfect. Now I'm probably better off adding this kind of large pillar to the uh, entirety of the house, to be fair. Ah, that has caused an interesting issue. Definitely unforeseen. Probably because that is at an angle. What if I just kind of build a wall here and then do this? No, it's just the way it is. That's fine. That shouldn't be an issue. It's just something nice to give a little bit of extra depth. Um, I will also, if we get one. There we go. Ah, 
is just to try and bring these pillars down a little. Uh, right. Very interesting. We'll figure it out later. She'll be right. Right now, plants down here. Modern house requires plants to be like well kept and stuff. That's how that goes, right? So if we, uh, <laughs> yes, this one, make it big. Yeah, no. Um, what about this one? Can we make it big? God damn it, I opened the fu- Thank god that saved. I was about to cry. Ooh. It's weird not having the same lighting that you've been working with the whole time. The morning lighting makes it look really different. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, That's a thing I could do, but I really don't want to. I could probably shrink. Yeah, that doesn't really go too well. These ones are just too high. There are these ones. Is that like a more of a basic pattern? Yeah, there are these ones. A weird gap in between it. Change that to pure white. I can pull a big fucking gamer move. Kind of works actually. Is that clipping through anywhere? Surprisingly, not, which is interesting. I was expecting them to clip right through. Why is this working so well? I mean, I won't complain, of course. Whoops. That'll do. Looking good. I really wanted to, I could do this. You know what, I'm not even gonna lie, that looks pretty fucking good if I do say so myself. God damn, son. That's kind of off-center. Yeah, that's better. 
Much better. That's uh, that's quite nice actually. I am a fan of that. <laughs> I cannot lie. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I probably put some windows here too, huh? Should I put them side by side like that? Nah, they're kind of clipping through the, uh, the wall there. Maybe just one here? Feels like it's too much. You know, I don't necessarily have to have something there. What I could have instead is some uh, some hoibs, maybe like a hanging wall of flowers or something. The, uh, the kind of wackiness of it. That kind of works. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan. It's hard trying to find something that just works. Todd Howard. Um, I don't really want to change the flowers in them. It's a bit weird. We go like that. We pull. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I expected to happen. If we go back to the terrain editor, get the cube out. Definitely are not. <laughs> uh, shit. Where's the gravel that I used? I've got absolutely no idea. Not maybe using these is actually a better idea. I'm not gonna lie, I like the pebbles. Happy accident. Beautiful. Now we can put stuff in front of these uh, these purple plants here to flesh them out a bit more. Uh, I'll use more wild flowers and stuff, just because I feel like they will look better rather than trying to cram in uh, just random stuff. To be fair. much. I feel like it's too much. Mm. Again, just something to add depth, you know? I'm not looking to do insane stuff. Just enough. down as 
as well. Rubs. Yeah, that's not the way I wanted to do it. Look, Look like we're getting some, you know, wildflowers in, and then get a fern there as well to stick out the top. Not looking too bad if I do so so myself. I should actually, like, paint the house. I feel like that's something I should have done a very, very long time ago. There we go. Look at that. Delicious tiles. Um... Well, everything's kind of, like, either painted a solid colour or brick. So if we've got, like, a lot of... I don't really want to do siding unless it's brick. What's this actually look? Hmm. Is that like a second layer where it's just Scully's office but only... Sideways panels so with the minimal spots? No. And there's no kind of. So it's what the red brick with the white background. No, I just kind of want the... I just want the panel. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'll, uh, I'll get that lucky today. I don't really know how I feel about it anyway. I like the brick here, though, to be fair. Maybe we can do something interesting with uh, with just wooden paneling. Maybe. Oh god, yeah, just have some boarded up stuff. Oh, it's actually got depth to it. I never noticed that. They have it like it all as a lighter shade up the top, so it looks like it's got um, it's got depth. That's interesting. about this. Definitely adds to the whole bright aesthetic feel. I wouldn't want the whole house coated in this stuff. But it does look quite nice. I cannot argue with that. Yeah, I definitely don't want the whole house covered in it. Um, especially down here, I would actually like some brickwork for the garage, I feel like. Okay, well maybe not dungeon brickwork. <laughs> Maybe just some generic kind of brick wall. I'm 
yeah, just some generic brick wall on the inside. I feel like it does it quite nicely. Oh, I need to sort out like the... Isn't there a thing that... I need to do like underhanging on, like in here. There's a thing that lets you like change that stuff. Yep. That kind of makes it look like there's a, a, a garage almost. Is there more of like a gray one? the same color I already had. More of a green. Yeah. Alright, I feel like that's a good color. Yeah, that kind of looks like it has a garage door hiding behind it or like in it or something. I don't really know. But that's actually kind of what I wanted to go for. So that will work. In terms of... The roof design... Hmm. In terms of just the, uh... The wall design in general... I do like the wooden slats. Especially here, I feel like it's really nice. But I, but coating the whole house, I don't think it looks that great. Or I at least need something to break it up. Um, but I, I like the brickwork along this. That looks quite nice. Ah, that is uh, interesting. Yeah, I do like the brickwork down there quite a bit. Um, oh, I also need to put a single gate over there. I could put another one of these over here. But that kind of just ruins it. Like a lip glass gate something thin and hideable that'll do it's not really disturbing anyone but it's made out of glass it's the only thing that gets me is that it's glass big chunky lad yeah big boy this would work if it wasn't so thick Any of them would work if they weren't so thick. Oh, there we go. I can get like a dingy little back gate. That works actually fucking perfectly. Amazing. Incredible. Hmm. Okay, well if I want to break it up, then using more of the brick would be the, the smart option. But what in God's name would I turn to brick? This area. Hmm. What if we made it almost look like it was a redesign? So, like, the original house had, like, all the brickwork, but all of, like, the, um... Just some like extra wooden paneling to kind of tie it all together or something. Yeah, no. Too much brick. Maybe 
maybe that? I don't know, it's so hard to judge what's good. I could do that. No, nah, it just looks wrong, doesn't it? It does, it just looks wrong. Ah, what to do then? What to do? Could do concrete. Could do like a like a grey kind of concrete. Have like a concrete kind of back panel there. It's definitely interesting. I feel like it needs some color. It's difficult getting the colors right. Because again, you really don't know what you want. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will have to end it early. My brain is all over the place right now. Uh, I still haven't quite really settled in, uh, and I'm very tired. Um, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, I know that we're only like halfway through the build, but I will come back and I will finish this because I am really liking this build, and I like the idea of having like a half shop, half home kind of deal. Um, so we will come back, we will finish this, um, but yeah, I am very tired. Maybe something more energetic tomorrow uh, will kind of really... Uh, get the uh, get the creative juices flowing again, but that'll do me for today ladies and gentlemen uh, Thank you everybody for watching if you're new be sure to like subscribe and uh, do all of that dumb shit that all them YouTubers tell you to do uh, And I'll see you all in the next one. See you later everybody Goodbye <laughs>